Hey guys, Web Show here. Back with another video, um, editing tutorial video on how I edited did this picture with this picture get something like that there. All right. But today I'm editing on this one. Um, it's going to be exactly the same. So when I start out with this image, I usually come into the crop tool. I was going to crop it in just a hair here. Actually, it might be a little off. Um, come on. Let's see where auto takes me. Okay, auto thinks it's like that. We'll go with it. I went to portrait because I mean it's somewhat of a portrait picture. Bring up the contrast a little bit. Bring down the highlights so you're able to see the top of this. Uh, bring it clarity up a little bit, vibrance up a little bit, because we're just going to be re-editing this later. So you're just going to be doing quick edits: oranges, greens, blues, purples. Just a little bit of everything in here. Not doing much, not worrying. Hold down Alt key with the masking, and then you get to do this little fun thing. Just so the sky gets all this little stuff out of it. A little bit of, uh, oh, whoops. Vignette on it right now. Um, so that's gonna be good just to start out with, all right? Now we come into already edited out um, I have it in Adobe color and this is that's what it comes on uh, kicked up the uh, clarity a lot with this and it's just the same thing going all the way down this is just a different view of it this is for your phone this will be the picture that will go inside your phone here and here's all the other settings same thing right here a little bit of vignette all right now this one edit in Photoshop wait for Photoshop to so this this day it was taking um, a lot of photos of the sign itself these were my favorite photos um, I uh, forgot the lights would come on later on in the photo when I was taking photos of it and it looks a lot better when the lights are on if you ever go into this sign make sure you go there a little bit before dark then the lights will come on for you and then it looks so much better when the colors do alright it's taking a couple seconds just like usual do 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 um, yeah it was a rainy day a lot of people Almost got hit by one car. Not looking where he was going. I had a crosswalk signal and he was just turning right, but he didn't care. It was fun. All right. Now go back into Lightroom. Open up this one. Or I mean Photoshop. My bad. So now you got these two images. Now you go to this image, the one that's going in your phone, hit control A, you see this ant trail. The ant trail is around it then. Hit control C, control V in this place, just anywhere I'm pretty sure. Loading now. All right, now when you go to this layer, go to edit, transform, scale make sure you click on these little thingamajiggies because then you don't want to lose the actual scale of your photo let's just put it right in the middle uh, somewhere by the phone all right now image oh no not image oh yeah layer duplicate layer Layer is duplicated. Let's hide this, hide this. And then we zoom in just a little bit. And this is where you get to this. See, I didn't have my phone on 
in this picture so I get to just draw in wherever I think the phone will be Something like that, all right? Usually you would have the phone on at the brightest setting with the calendar or notes or something like that. That's what I normally did, but then on this shot, it just, I don't know why I didn't do that. So now you select it, make selection, right click it and make selection, make it bigger. It says, it's usually on zero. Now I usually will go up to 1.2 pixels, hit OK. Now you have this ant trail here. Ant trail, hit delete. Boom, it's gone. Now, for the simple thing to do, go up to this lasso or any, I don't know. I just like going up to lasso because I can tell what it is. Hit deselect. And now uh, we can zoom back out here, hit the screen. Now you will go to this layer. Uh, we can move it to here and that moves it right into there. Just like that. All right. Now it looks kind of dark because it's like, well, we don't actually see these rock things here. So we got to go up to the edit, transform, scale. You gotta, you gotta move it a little bit here, just so it looks kind of realistic, just like that. Boom. Now you got the hand there. Now it's looking good. That, now that's all I got to do in the Photoshop area. Now I can go up here and hit File, Save. And there's the saving. All right, now we go in the Lightroom again. Now it pops up here with this new image. Let's see, maybe, hmm, I was going to say, maybe I don't like this crop, but I kind of do. All right. So now with the selective editing here, process of selective editing, I'll put this one right here, this one over my hand. This one for a vignette, just like that. And we'll do one gradient filter. Um, actually, I'll see how that the circular one did and then I'll, I'll go from there. So I'll start with a hand here, color. Go to here, check. See how it's not fully done what I like it to do. All right, well maybe it's gonna change a little bit stuff in there, but I mean, okay, that would be really low. Oh, hold up. Oh wait. It says it should be getting. Hmm. All right. I think that's as good as it gets. Uh, wait. Can't have it like. 
like that. What am I saying to myself? And now it looks kind of, my hand looks black. I don't like that. So it's just trial and error here. I mean, maybe clarity needs to come down a little bit here. Come to the arm mask color check just like that do it a little bit better here Go like this highlights bring up the highlights bring up the exposure just a bit bring up the shadows just a bit and now we will go to the vignette let's bring down the clarity no well, maybe not that much bring out the saturation of the outside vignette here make sure you invert it on the right here yeah, that. let's see i like to check what's going on Gonna be like that, but just play around with it really. And the highlights just so it brings you into the photo just a bit more. Alright, so I like that vignette right there, but I still didn't get the purpose of what I was like, so I was thinking about maybe I'll need this, and I do. Let's bring down the clarity just a little bit. Bring down, oh, whoops. Whoops. Something like that. All right. And now let's have this filter right here, really. Put this on the feathered. Bring it up just a bit. Bring up the highlights just a bit. So I'll we'll bring it all together. And boom. Wait, uh, I mean, this area over here needs to have something over here because it's just too bright, really. Find it just gets lost. I feel like over here. Let's let's go. I want it cutting this off though. I mean that's fine there. More like that. Bring down that. Bring up that. Shine right there. There. Boom. <laughs> Um, but let's, let's make this building stand out a lot more here. I like this building, so I'm just going to bump up the clarity to it, actually, a little bit. This building is kind of sick, just a bit. And boom, there's your phone edit. That's perfect for Instagram. I mean, I didn't do the vertical one. I did the horizontal one, which, I mean, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but it kind of does, but whatever. Um, if you guys like this video, please leave a comment on explaining why you like this video. Uh, <laughs> no, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.